Ah, Jaws, an absolute classic. Revolutionized the way we made films, and is a really interesting dialogue-driven film to boot. I can't wait to see how they follow this up. Wow, that was a huge step down. Really disappointing. They're off to a bad start, but uh, we'll give them some credit, see where the next one goes. Oh wow, that was, that was just awful. Oh, the effects, the story, everything. <sighs> one more, let's just see what this last one's like. And that was the worst one yet. I mean, it was a little funny because they set up ridiculous rules and then couldn't even follow them. But uh, <laughs> it's just objectively really bad. I don't think you could make a worse Jaws sequel. Wahoo! It's a me, acclaimed Italian director Bruno Mattei. Acclaimed? By whom? I accept your challenge. My challenge? I'm gonna make a the worst a Jaws sequel. But you don't even have the copyright to make a Jaws film. Copyrights? Where am I going? I don't need copyrights. Can you at least stop doing the Mario voice? I think that might be offensive. Mamma mia! There were some movies. Terrible movies. Movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew. Sad little Matthew. Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Matthew really dragged himself through the crap to find the worst ones there are to be had. Today's episode, Jaws 5, Cruel Jaws. <sighs> hey, Paisanos, I am a problematic stereotype, and welcome back to Fake Sequel Month. The Fake Sequel. And let me tell you something, shark movies suck. In fact, aquatic killer movies suck. If it's inspired by Jaws, it sucks. Except Piranha. But even that has a sequel and two remakes that suck. So today we're going to look at a movie that doesn't even put up the facade of being inspired by Jaws, and instead just pretends to be Jaws. Jaws 5 Cruel Jaws was released in 1995, 20 years after Jaws, and a full 8 years after the last official Jaws film, Jaws the Revenge. Amusingly, Cruel Jaws actually has a higher IMDb rating than Jaws 4. The film comes to us from Terminator 2 Shocking Dark director Bruno Mattei. And you all remember how much I loved Shocking Dark. Mattei wrote the film with two people who never wrote anything else and weirdly credits Peter Benchley who wrote the Jaws novel. It's real, damn it! We credited the original author! And just like Shocking Dark, this film has hard-coded Japanese subtitles. Despite being released straight to video, a higher definition version apparently exists as Shout Factory intended to release the film on Blu-ray, but decided not to due to legal issues. Why? Because this film goes a step beyond saying it's Jaws and straight up has footage from Jaws, Jaws 2, Jaws 3D, and even the Jaws ripoffs Last Shark and Deep Blood. Oh, it's always bad when the ripoffs start ripping off the ripoffs. The film opens on, what else, people on a boat. Hey, take it easy, old man. There was top secret Navy material on board the Cleveland. We're going down to retrieve it. Yeah! You can't hit people with exposition that blunt in the first two lines. We gotta talk about how awkward the opening credits are. They'll show a couple credits and then just dick around for like two, three minutes before showing even more credits. It's such an awkward and clunky way of doing it, and it takes them five minutes to get through every single credit. Okay, the original Jaws found clever ways around showing that the shark wasn't entirely real. Jump cutting around the attacks wasn't one of them. And now we meet the shark bait this film tries to pass off as characters. This is Bill and Vanessa, who are going to the beach for a vacation. But first they've got to visit this dolphin show to meet some generic little girl in a wheelchair. 
SeaWorld denied any responsibility for the loss of her legs. She knew the risk when she got in the tub with that horrendously abused animal. At least her legs are actually broken, fucking Stefiana. It's not her name, was it? It wasn't Stefiana, it was Sophiana. Fuck me. At least her legs are actually broken, fucking Sophiana. Plus, she's friends with Hulk Hogan. Actually, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Oh no, the aquarium's shutting down for failure to pay. Now Hogan and the shark have to have a skiing competition to save it. Billy, I got you down here because I need your opinion on this. This looks like the work of a speedboat propeller to me. Well, I can't say anything until I take a look at it, Francis. Uh Natural sounding dialogue. Also, why the fuck are you asking a marine biologist? Surely you have a medical examiner for that. Oh yeah, there he is, painting on a white Hitler stash. He determines this man was killed by a shark. And then not eaten. Here's something weird. The editing. There's no sense of a passage of time. This movie just cuts to the next scene without explanation or any establishing shots. The mayor refuses to close the beach due to a shark attack because of tourism. Man, I can't believe they just rehashed the plot of Jaws like that. Worst sequel ever. There's only one shark that can do a job like this. The great white shark from the first four Jaws movies? The tiger shark. Of course. <laughs> Did you see that? A super baby. She tits on her like watermelon. <laughs> you like them all as long as they're breathing. Hey, that's enough, isn't it? Oh, you thought Jaws was a brilliant dialogue-driven film? Nah, fuck that. This is dialogue. Then we get some young people making out on the beach before getting eaten by a shark. You know, if you're just gonna rehash all the footage and plot points from Jaws, you could have just made a bootleg tape of Jaws. And here's the big twist. It was a seal, not a tiger shark. Some guy tries to break into the aquarium at night? Vikings in for a nasty surprise in the morning, boys. I'm watching this shit in 280p and I can still tell this is day. You didn't even try day for night. This is just blatantly daytime. Oh, and they poison the dolphin because... Evil. Luckily, Hogan's heroes show up fast enough to scare them off, leaving behind the poison fish. Poison which, I guess, Hogan can smell through the fish. Get Billy immediately. Someone's trying to pour some dolphins. But they manage to unpoison him just in time. Jaws Cop! Billy, what do we know about sharks? Well, we know that they're a sort of locomotive with a with a mouth full of butcher's knives. And all they really know how to do is, is swim, eat, and make baby sharks. And that's all. So if we were to have the regatta, it would be like saying, help yourself, chow's on. Well, actually, it's uncommon for shark to eat humans. We're not good for their digestive system. So a killer shark is exceptionally rare. Something they bring up in the first Jaws movie. Then the evil bad guy shows up talking about closing the aquarium. So it's time for my favorite part of the Jaws franchise, Wacky <laughs> Pratt Falls. No, it's okay, Vanessa. Go on, Glenda, I'll catch up with you later on. What's it for all, Billy, is the fish fry. Oh, that's right, the fish fry. You know something? The audio quality is pretty inconsistent. Dad, why do sharks eat people? Because they're hungry. They're always hungry, I think. Does blood come out if a shark eats you? Yes. It's a very painful way to die. He'll probably eat me, and if he's still hungry, he might even come after you. I wouldn't worry too much, though. You're a good kid. Me, on the other hand, I'm going straight to hell for all the horrible things I did in Vietnam. Anyways, sweet dreams! Ooh, everybody's here! They're gonna die when they see you dressed like this! I really hope that was foreshadowing and the shark just shows up and eats everyone at this party. Yeah, no such luck. To tell you the truth, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm bored to death. Stop, you're spoiling me into my review. Oh no, kids making out in the ocean. You know how this is. Wait, they live? Lame. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Is this the beach where we can see the shark from? What shark? The one that killed all those folks. 
They said it on TV. They said there's a shark killing people right here. There was a shark, but now it's gone, and we hope that it doesn't come back. You mean to say we came all this way and now it's gone? We brought our kid to sacrifice him to our great shark overlord. Ronnie, shut up. Oh shit, these people might actually have brought their kids to feed him to the shark. Yeah, just fucking snipe a shark. Brilliant. Wait, they caught it? Uh, movie over? No, of course, this is just a plot point they lifted straight from Jaws with someone capturing the wrong shark. Well, it's a, it's a tiger shark, alright. Daddy, does that mean that it's daddy with a shark and it's mommy with a tiger? Yes, sweetie. It's an abomination before God and man. There isn't a shark in the world that can get through these nets. I got 20 bucks the shark makes it through those nets. And then they have a pointless wind sailing race so someone can get eaten. Ah! Oh, he's the yes. best. Just like his father. Ah, shit! Slow on the uptake on this one. And the shark made it through the net. A little over three minutes. It's a little longer than I thought it would be. They even had the balls to impersonate the barrel scene from Jaws. Attention! Attention! The race has been suspended! Leave your boys and get in the boat! Come on! Come back in! Come back in! Get eaten! Get eaten! And it's like the wheelchair girl's wheelchair is just magically drawn to the water. It's like the gods want her dead. But instead, Vanessa takes her place, appeasing the great shark god's appetite. For now. Is Vanessa okay? She's just fine. She's at home with Billy. Yeah, no she isn't. So the mayor gets pressured into offering a reward for bringing in a shark. Pathetic. Back in my day, killing a shark with your bare hands and smearing its blood all over your naked body to prove that you were the apex predator was a reward all its own. Oh, you cowards. You absolute cowards. If you're gonna steal the intro to the Star Wars theme, just steal the whole thing. Here's hoping he likes it. My mother's roast. Shame we had to kill mother for her delicious meats, but hey, duty calls. I'm tired of playing with cooking and I hate this stuff. I can't wait to get Hey, you wanna quiet those animals so you can hear what she's saying? They find the shark and try to fucking shotgun it. Of course, that does no good, because this shark is in a different movie. You know, unlike, say, Turkish Star Wars, this film actually does kind of a decent job covering up what's stolen footage and what's original. Although it makes it a little bit obvious when you keep looping the same shot over and over and the shark just never reacts to anything happening. Uh, also, I kind of doubt this was in the budget. <laughs> Luckily, that wasn't the boat with Bill and Hulk Hogan on it, though you'd be forgiven for thinking so because of how poorly shot and edited this film is. I literally thought they were on the same boat until it cut to them watching on the other boat. Sam, something terrible's happened to Ronnie. There's been an explosion on the boat. Is he dead? There's no survivor, Sam. Well, except the shark. He's fine. So Jaws Cop flies his helicopter out to catch the shark. And that's not even the same shark. Here's how you tell what is and isn't original content. If the shark is sitting there with its mouth open like a doofy idiot, it's from Jaws 5. Everything else is reused footage. And it looks like Shark Cop forgot his bat shark repellent because he falls in and gets eaten. As much as anyone can get eaten in this movie. So, um, the Mafia shows up? This was a subplot in the original Jaws book that Spielberg wisely chose to cut, but in the book it was at least established and not something that came out of nowhere in the last 20 minutes. And this level 100 boss introduces the guys he hired to kill the shark like they're generic level 20 hitmen going to kill a political opponent. Listen, I brought in these fellas to help us out. These guys are on the ball. They'll take care of the shark. It's a shark! Get some shark hunters, not these thugs. 
Here's a twist, the boat those guys were looking for at the beginning was carrying the shark, who was a top secret experimental weapon. That's the plot to Piranha. You guys are so desperate to steal stuff, you're stealing from the Jaws parody movie. If this came out today, you'd be stealing from Sharknado. My father's in cahoots with them. They're bad people. You're in danger. Susie, she's all alone at the aquarium. You left your wheelchair-bound daughter alone at the aquarium? And how could they make it without this detailed map? Okay, here. WRONG! <laughs> I'm gonna start using that as a running gag that I either come to completely hate or forget about immediately. I don't even know why they did that. They didn't even steal the boat. Oh, and the hitmen get eaten. Glad we had that in the movie. This climax consists of a lot of shotguns and a man I am not fully convinced is not Hulk Hogan drinking a beer. Because America. And they solve the problem the only way Americans know how. By bombing the shit out of it. And just like real life, killing an animal means SeaWorld gets to remain open. The end. And that's Jaws 5, a film so unoriginal it stole from Jaws, its sequels, its ripoffs, and its parodies. Anything to keep from being itself. This film is so poorly made in a number of obvious ways, especially in its editing. I can barely see the film, yet I can tell how awkward these cuts are. It steals so much from other movies and is just blatantly unoriginal. But you think maybe, hey, this film could be funny. WRONG! The official sequel, Jaws 4 The Revenge, is way funnier than this film. Overall, it's not a terrible fake sequel, and if you just want to put on a dumb shark movie, especially one claiming to be Jaws 5, and laugh at it with some friends, there are worse movies you could put on. But overall, there's just not that much to it, and there are plenty of other movies that are way funnier. Not only had time to cover one fake sequel, because I got a little sick, but trust me, I'll be back next year with more for fake sequel month, the fake three cool. Until next time, I'm Matt, and this is Matt's Funtime Bad Movie Show. By the way, tell your Bob to stay away from my daughter, or you can buy... Another wheelchair. <laughs> Do you know National Lampoon pitched a Jaws 5 called Jaws 5 People Zero? It was supposed to be a comedy sequel uh, in which they were making a Jaws 5, but the shark shows up and eats people like Steven Spielberg and the book's original author.